Hello and welcome to the game that won our viewer poll for what game we should play next. This is Victoria 2 and I am super excited to get into it because people have been saying that this is one of the best Paradox games. And they've been saying it for a while, like the whole time I've been playing Crusader Kings 2, EU 4, all that. There have always been people talking about like, oh, Victoria 2, it's, it's great. You know, you kind of hear whispers like, oh, they should remake it, it'll be great. So I really want to kind of get into it and find out what makes it good. I haven't played it before. I have no idea what's really going on. But I have kind of looked up a few things and I worked out how we want to start. And I've looked up kind of some basic guides. And it looks to be mostly kind of general paradox things. But it's a little bit older. It's a little bit, um, it's probably going to be a little bit more obtuse. But hopefully it will make it through. So, who are we going to be playing as? Well, you might be able to tell by the fact that it's on the screen in a lot of places. But we're going to be playing as Belgium. Why are we going to be playing as Belgium? Well, basically, um, I looked up who would be good at beginner nations, and this one seemed like a good, at, like quite a good one, because apparently it allows you to interact with a lot of different systems. There are a lot of different ways you can go, and we only really have one major rival. Apparently, we only have the Dutch to the north. So we are quite a small uh, nation in here. If I was playing something like CK2, EU4, I would be expecting to be eaten by France any moment now. But apparently that kind of stuff doesn't necessarily happen as easily in Victoria 2. There's a lot of aggressive expansion. I believe, I could be wrong, this is the game that that came from, that concept of aggressive expansion. I could be completely wrong, it's just from what I'm remembering. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be a little bit safe, but we should try and get alliances. Um, my beginner hints have told me that uh, the UK could be cool, but just looking on the map, I assume Austria would be a fairly good alliance. Prussia, Sweden, I mean, depending, Russia would probably, they'd probably be reasonable. I don't know who's an actually good ally. Uh, someone like, uh, what's that country right? Oh, that's, is that Prussia? Uh, that is Prussia. Okay, so yeah, more Prussia there. They would be reasonably good, although the fact that they're bordering us makes me think they probably wouldn't want to be our ally. They'd more likely want to be someone who is going to be, uh, um, you know, absorbing us. Just from my natural tendencies, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Denmark as well could be reasonable, I think, uh, but I really have no idea where we're going with this. So let's have a look at the, some of this different stuff. First one I have a look at is budget, because I have noticed there's this nice green line coming along here for a budget and then this sudden red line going down and that generally that doesn't look very good to me yeah so we're projected to lose 50 uh, pounds a day uh how much is a pound in this game how, where do where would i even see that oh so we're up here so five thousand pounds is what we start with but we're gonna lose 50 a day what we're we spending it on we are spending it on education and administration and military spending and national stockpile purchases. National stockpile purchases being the most of it. Okay, interesting. I wonder whether that's going to continue for a while or whether we'll eventually just stockpile and then that'll stop spending money. Presumably that's how it's going to work. So ideally we want to try and save a little bit of money. We probably want to try and get that budget turned around so we're gaining some money. Because money um, for a small nation is probably going to be worth a lot more. Because we don't have, like, military might, so we're probably going to have to buy our way out of situations, I would imagine. Uh, what else do we have? What, what do we produce? We produce wool, coal, glass, wine, and regular clothing. Alright. Interesting. Can we see how this works? Okay, so we do have... So we have, like, factories that we can build. Okay, we're not maxed out on factories, but we have no... This is build factories, no. Okay. Does this mean that we are not allowed to build any? Maybe it's like a political thing? Possibly. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, if you have any tips or any kind of explanations or anything uh, that you want to just tell me about the game, go ahead. Definitely. Please tell me in the comments and I will uh, try and absorb as much knowledge as possible. I think we're getting into this. So, yeah, we've produced steel, sulfur, ammunition in, in that one as well as coal and iron. So this is kind of like our... Um, this is like our, yeah, steel factory. This kind of military stuff, I would imagine, looking at it. Yeah, it's an ammunition factory. Okay, so we can see that if we hover over it. Oh, so we have steel and ammunition and small arms, and that is all in that state. Okay, so we have two states, I would assume, right? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, no, we actually have a lot more states. We have, like, ooh, uh, 11 states? Yeah, okay. And then we, ha we only have that many factories in them. Okay, that makes sense. 
Uh, so in theory, we could have a lot more states, each with their own factories, but not right now. So open all factories from the list, close all factories from the list, subsidize all factories on the list, don't subsidize. Okay. So we can choose to invest in them. Uh, average infrastructure. So our infrastructure is fairly alright, according to that. So like we have normal infrastructure, I'd assume here. I'd assume 0, 0.00 is absolutely normal infrastructure. We're not behind the times, we're not ahead of the times in terms of that. And then we also have reasonable uh, output and then we have some capitalists which are also buffing us up but but not by very much so we don't have a lot of capitalists we also have a lot more craftsmen who are oh we have unemployed craftsmen in this um area or in this factory we have that or something does that mean in theory we would need more f um it's probably we have unemployed craftsmen in uh Volanderin, and that means that if we get more factories we could then use those people I think that's what it's meaning. That would make some sense to me. But it also says that we're not employing everyone that we could be employing. So presumably these 93 will just go into a factory when we start the game. That makes sense. Okay. Foreign investment. We cannot invest in foreign pe uh, things because we are not a great power. Fair enough. Production. Oh my god, what is this screen? So, um... Does this allow us to... So if I was to click on... Let's choose one that doesn't look like it, we have a lot of investment in it. Flipper Convoy. So if I click on that... Oh, we can then see what uh, percentage of the world produ production we do. So it's like none of our production, but we're doing like 20% of the world production of this stuff. Okay. So then... It, it says the current price. I guess that's just the price... It's not something we can decide. It's just the price it is. Okay. That's fair enough. Um... So yeah, we've got a lot kind of riding on some of this stuff. So presumably what we want to try and do is get factories which then produce the things that aren't needed. That seems reasonably alright to me. Projects. So capitalists are planning to build a railroad in Vlanderin, which already is slightly ahead of the time in infrastructure. They need some more, uh, they need some more money towards it. We could invest into that project with our money, and that means our factory would then start building more stuff. That seems like a good idea to me. Uh, yeah, we could give it all the money we need. We don't need any investors for that then. And then that would allow us to get some of that stuff. Okay. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, although maybe we want to wait. Maybe people will invest in it and then we can save our money. I don't know how much a thousand is. We're losing 19. We're losing 50 a, a day currently according to that. So that's not... Gonna be great. We're colonial power. What does that say? Uh, so that's... There's something available there, it's saying. Oh, that's colonial power we have available. Do we have colonies, says Belgium? Uh, how would I even find that out? Uh, I guess just look on the map for things that look like our color. I don't really see anywhere that's obvious, but I assume we must do, because we it says we have um, colonial power. I actually have absolutely no idea if Belgium had colonies. I assume that they did, but where they are or how big they are is completely uh yeah no idea all right well we'll figure that out uh what else do we have we have down here people have entered into military alliances so a lot of people are meant entering military alliances with uh russia so we have uh brunswick we have the saxa coburg gotha and then we have hess Cassel. so that's probably some of these small people around here I wish you wouldn't go into this mode when you zoom in. I still want to see who the countries are at that point, because we're too zoomed out to actually see, but maybe it's not necessary in this game. Uh, what else do we have? Show hide current battle plans. Okay. Battle plan editor. Oh, right. So it's, it's got a little bit of that Hearts of Iron stuff in it. Technology. Okay. So in here, we can choose to start research on something. So if uh, I said that I wanted to start research on this, um, it would give us diff different bonuses and it would cost research points and we presume, yeah, we gain nine research points daily. Okay, that makes absolute sense to me in every way. Uh, so we'll probably look into that after we look at everything else. Our administration is traditional academia. I have no idea what that means, but okay, that's fine. We have a political party. We are mostly conservative, we've got a big, big bit of liberal and then we got some reactionary. Okay. And everything's pretty much right here, but we can try and change laws if we were if we have certain things. 
yeah, if we have people who want reform, we can start changing things around. So we can put in minimum wages, and that will get more people attracted to immigrate here. Okay, so this seems like something we can't change right now. It says none of this is something that we can change. Because, why? Um, reactionary vote yes, zero. Conservatives vote yes. Yeah. Oh, because the conservatives are voting no to everything. Seems fair enough. So presumably when the conservatives are not in power, we will then be able to, like, put some more stuff in here. What's that one? French word for revenge is the yearning for the return of lost land to the nation. In love, war, and peace alike, our people uh, will be willing to make greater sacrifices for the return of our sacred soil. Alright, fair enough. Movement. So what's this? Suppression points measure your government's power to suppress move, uh, popular movements. Okay, so if there was a movement, we could use some of our suppression points to try and push it some way. And, or, like, we could either choose to, like, um, yeah, we could choose to suppress it, basically. It doesn't look like we could choose to support it. I guess we could just do nothing, and that would allow us to uh, support it. Alright, so if people are in favour of reforms, then we can reform. Okay, and then we have, like, different parties who all have different kind of opinions. That's fine. Don't need to care about that. Decisions. Okay, so these are things that we can make under different circumstances. So... We're currently- oh, apparently we're in the sphere of influence of uh, Great Britain. Okay. Um, so I assume that means that Britain are gonna, like, protect us a lot of the time? Or something like that? Yeah, we don't really wanna- okay, so... We don't wanna do anything about that. Seize the means of production. So this means that, uh, what exactly? Perform nationalization, okay. We can try and get better military- is that, like, oh, so that means that we can kind of get some more stuff of our military, I think. And then uh, cooperative industrialism, I get. That means that we get some more stuff of our industry. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, release nations. Oh, we have Flanders and Wallonia underneath us. So these are just nations that are, these are things, these are satellites. So I think this means that we haven't absorbed them, maybe? Uh, or are, oh, right, no, these will be these ones that are kind of, off from us. So this will be Flanders. No, that's Netherlands. All of that is Netherlands, in fact. That's also the Netherlands. So these lands that the Netherlands kind of control. I'm trying to figure out what Flanders is, exactly. So Flanders was around here, wasn't it? When we were, uh, when you're in, like, CK2. Is that not where Flanders is? I could be completely and utterly wrong. Okay, that, that, that would make sense. Yeah, I have no idea. So we have some people who are in our sphere of influence, but where they are, to me, no idea. All right, that's fine. Don't need to worry about that then. Um, all right, so we looked enough. So basically, we could release them, but we're not going to. Uh, maybe they're just underneath Belgium. Maybe it doesn't differentiate once you're through your satellite. They're just underneath you. That's fair enough. Anyway, uh, we'll ignore that one. Population. So what's this zero out of two mean? If I can get that to actually give us the right the right tooltip shortcut. F5. Okay, so we have two national focus points. Oh, okay. Because of technology limits. Um, and the number of people give us focus points, but we have no focus currently. The average uh, militancy of our population is zero. So we have... Our population is not, you know, militant at all. Uh, and our consciousness is four-ish. Is that good? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what we want to do with that. So we can see the populations of our two areas. So we only have two areas. So presumably our country's kind of cut into these two areas. We have a lot of uh, Wallonian and, Fl and uh, Flemish people. So yeah, presumably Belgium's made up of the two of them, which makes sense. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. All of that makes sense. We have some different religions. We're most mostly Catholic, but I'm not sure if that makes the biggest difference as it does in something like EU4. We do have a Jewish... Uh, like a couple of Jewish people in uh, Vlanderen. Apart from that, nothing else. We have different votes. We have different dominant issues. None of that's really that relevant to us right now. Trade. This is where we sell our stuff. And we can choose how much we want to stockpile for different things. Currently, trade is automated for, I assume, all good types. That's fine. We'll leave it automated. Okay, so diplomacy. Ooh, we get to see what wars are going on. So the Ottomans start off at war with Tripoli. Okay, so the Ottomans are trying to absorb that land, I assume. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. What else have we got? The Texan War of Independence from Mexico. Yeah, 
to trying to split off from Mexico. All right, all of this is seeming normal. So we are currently under the sphere of influence of Great Britain. So if we have a look here, there's quite a lot of people under the sphere of influence of Great Britain. It, I mean, it was an empire, so that makes sense. But we also have some people who are under, so Britain's got the most, uh, USA's got a little bit of Liberia, we're a few under the Ottomans, a lot of under Prussia, a uh, few, a lot under Austria, and one under France. But not too much else after that. Okay. So what can we do? Form alliance, call our ally into our conflicts, military access. Okay, we can declare war. Uh, justify. So we'll justify wars like claim war, maybe. Like claim on someone else. So if I was to choose this person, uh, what does it say? Uh, we can't justify war against puppets or substates. So if I was to choose, I don't know. Um, if I was to choose France, we couldn't justify a war with them because our relations are too high. But we have less relations with them. Oh, so we can actually choose to decrease our relations. We could form an alliance with France. They will not accept because of what? What reasons? It doesn't tell us any of this. Okay. What's their opinion of us? Can I even see? How would I know? What my, uh, is this our opinion of them? Or their opinion of us? Or All right, that is their opinion of us. Is as high as it can be without um, anything else. So we would have to actively use our points, which we get a limited number of, to try and improve opinion. Okay, that's fair enough. And we also have a military. I just want to have a look here. So yeah, we have some divisions. We can build armies. Presumably we can then raise the armies later. Yeah. Uh, so can we... Oh no, we have our armies like raised permanently. Okay. That's, that's like EU4, I think, right? Yeah, I think that's good. I, I think I'm roughly okay with armies. Generally, Paradox Games just to be biggest army wins. Uh, I have no idea who we want to be friends with. Our great powers are like Russian Empire, France... Presumably want to be friends with people who are under British, who are also under British kind of control. Or like the British sphere. I would assume. So someone like Hanover. Who are next to us down here, I think. Somewhere along here, Hanover is. Did we not see them earlier? Or is Hanover further set? I have no idea where Hanover... Like, I have no idea where anything is on this map. Yeah. So I assume Hanover is somewhere over here. Maybe. No, no, no idea. Right. So I assume we, we could be friends with them, though. So if we find Hanover. Hanover don't like us very much. They would not give us an alliance. Why not? We're not allowed to negotiate with satellites or dominions. Oh, so it's a satellite of them. Oh, uh, okay. So I just want someone who's under their sphere of influence who is also nearby. So Greece. Greece do. Greece do not like us. Let's deliberately try and make Greece like us. Alright, we'll improve our relations. It's an action. So that just gives us 15 improvement. And now we don't have any points to spend. Where, where do I see my points? So, Alright, so this is, I assume, like um, mana from EU4. Okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Technology is the only thing we really need to work out. Uh, what kind of technology do we want? Well, um, can we see what it gives us? So these kind of things give us more res these give us more research points or something like that if we get them. All right, so that allows us to get faster research. That's kind of thing I'm interested in. It allows discovering discovery of different ideas. Okay, but we can't get it for that one because we don't have enlightenment. Enlightenment just gives us research points. We have completed that research. We cannot go for ideally idealism because we cannot research it before eighteen. 40. So another four years. Prestige gain. Uh, education efficiency. Uh, colonial migration. Uh, we don't have, we don't know if we have colonies or not. I assume we don't. Actually, I haven't looked into it. National focus. Do we yet? We do have national focuses here. How do we set them? Like it says that we're zero out of two national focuses. Maybe that's something you have to set in your politics. That's something that might be worth looking up. I will look up things between episodes. So uh, I don't know something now and I'm very, and like, you know, it seems like it's important. I think national focuses are probably important. There might be something you get through decisions or something like that. Or maybe it's something like you'll get events that'll give you national focuses. What does this mean? Fulfillment of life goods is water. 
Everyday needs is beer. Luxury needs is wine. Alright. Makes sense to me. Alright. Um, reinforcements. Ranch exper experience. So that's for military kind of stuff, I assume. Like regiment experience? Yeah, okay. Industry. Something we can improve here. Uh, high low pressure steam engines. This gives us more output. That seems good. Uh, throughput tech. So that means that tech will do better, maybe? Uh, and allows discovery of a lo bunch of different things. That seems good. There's a lot of things that we could discover. Clean coal. So this allows us to have larger coal mines. We do have a coal mine. So that's good. Then medicine. Allows us to have more supply limit. Let's go for clean coal. Let's make that our first... Well, I see. let's go for mechanical production. Let's make that our first one. It's activation. It's just available this year. A lot of things we could develop. It uses these research points. I don't know. We'll start researching it. We'll see how that goes. Is that our research going? Can we research something else? Or is that... We could do more than one research at the same time. But presumably, like, splitting researches isn't good. Unless we want to have, like, a couple going at once. Possibly. Uh, is there anything else that we're after? I don't think so. I don't really want naval stuff. I'm not too worried about that, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think we're going to be a naval power. I could be completely wrong. Combat width? No. No, none of this really jumps out at me. I think we're going we're gonna to stick with that. I'm, yeah, I think we're going to stick with that. We're going to unpause the game. We're going to see how things go. Right. It's the same buttons for speeding it up. That's a positive start. Uh, we are losing money like nobody's business. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at down here. Everywhere is entering military alliances with everywhere else. All right. Let's see. So, Russia discredited um, a bunch of different people. Mostly the Russians. Okay. To try and weaken their influence on pe people. Papal states entered an alliance with France. Okay. So, what we really want to do is try and get alliances with people who get alliances with other people. That could be an idea. Um, oh, there's where I can see my diplomatic points. How many do we get? We get a small amount each month. Okay. Now, this game takes an, is in a different time scale than a lot of the other games. So, like, um, a month in another game might be a really short amount of time. But this goes daily. This That's like, its base count is, like, you know, uh, daily. And it's 100 years. So, it's not that long. So, a month is going to be much longer in this than in other games. Like, it's going to be a longer chunk of the overall game time. What's this one? Alliance offer from Great Britain. Oh. Yes, 100%. I want that alliance. Yes, proceed. Proceed decline. What great options. Yes, I'm going to proceed. We are now allied with Britain. That's good. We are producing mechanical production. We are gaining money. Which is good. Well, we're not gaining money, but we're losing less money. Which is good. We are, however, hemorrhaging money overall. I would like to stop that if possible. Um, we got a lot of produced goods. We could try and produce more goods. This is something I can do with my factories. I could invest in this to try and get it to... Yeah, I'm going to invest in the railroad on the assumption that investing um, into the railroad will then therefore allow us to get more product. Like, that will make our factory better for me it'll produce more which means we'll make more money that's my logic i invest all the money in it we are going we've we've done it so we now have the next one to build a railroad somewhere else so does that increase this factory stuff here doesn't appear to be greatly increasing it if it increases it at all let's try opening and closing it no idea doesn't appear to have done a single thing but we have different projects that we have in here that we can then choose to invest in so we could build another railroad here. Okay, but we don't have the money to do that. We in, we in fact have no money at all. That's not good. Something I can do to make more money. I could spend less on our stockpile. So I could lower our maximum stockpile of goods. And that means that we would therefore spend less making our stockpile. Like we'd reach our limit quicker. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of expecting an event at some point to pop up and kind of say... Well, this, welcome to the game. Here's like where we're starting, but that's fine. Our, our population is going up. Interesting. Okay. Our consciousness is going down like it said it would. All right. Still not entirely sure what we're aiming for, but I think it's time to end the episode. So... 
thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. Really helps the search ranking, helps the channel grow, and helps the series grow. If you have any comments about, like, how to any tips on how to be better at this or what we should be doing or oh my god why haven't you got this with this person already like why haven't you got this alliance why haven't you uh, you know conquered all of this land already come on tell me and i will try try my best to make things happen so thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>